Can you read these sentences? We have a word here that we haven't done yet. It's they, so you see the the a. It's coming up as one of our tricky words, but you can help with that. The a, and once they've seen it in the, that second line, they should remember. Hopefully, that they it's the same word they're meeting again in the fourth line. I could help you read through and you've got the, er, own. Sometimes the a uh, sound makes a o oh sound in words. Ask your children what is a throne? Can they make out from the picture what a throne is? If not, how, look it up to see what a throne is. Just a tip when your children read ball. Okay, cover over the B. You recognize that all ball or if they say ball say do you think that's right ball ball this is another game that we play in school to help us practice or revise our tricky words or any new words that we're doing so usually on the board, I write, or I have the board, the words, our new words that we've done this week. We've got here, we've got come, some, said. I will also put up some words that are easy to read, give the children confidence, so easy words. And then maybe if there's another word that they're finding tricky, um, say for example, like all, you could add in all. Again, with these tricky words, the way you learn them is just repeat them over and over and over again. So what I do now is I have my timer on my phone and I show them that it's set at zero, turn it into a maths lesson as well, that it's set at zero. And when they start, you can help them. I sometimes put a very tricky word at the start and I always tell them what it is initially. OK, I want you to start at here. And see how fast you can read all these words. Um, before they do it, sometimes I say, okay, could you guess how many seconds it's going to take you? And usually we have Numicon and they have to show me the Numicon piece, say, oh, I think I can do it in five seconds. I'll ask someone else, what do you think they can do it in? Oh, I think six. And what do you think he's going to be one second slower? So bring maths into it. So for you, maybe if you had a dice, okay, I think five, five seconds. So, or even write down five and draw five second, five dots beside it. So I say, okay, starting now, here, here, cat, all, come, he, some, at, said. Stop your timer and you let them know how many seconds it took them. So, oh, very good, you got five seconds, but say if they got four, very good, you were faster by how many seconds? You said you did it in five, you did it in four by one, so, you're, you're putting a maths lesson in there as well. And you're getting them to think and getting them to reason. The children love this game. I do have to say that I think the girls probably win it most often. But maybe the boys are going to prove me wrong. 
you can make this game much easier if you want it for your child. And sometimes I do this in the class. So write down the words that they already know. Now these are the words they got the first week back after Christmas. So they should know them. I should also say that children will forget their words if they don't practice them a lot or if they don't see them in their reading books. That's why we've got the reading practice every day, the reading book and these reading sentences. This is an example of how you can challenge your children. So the word they came up in one of the sentences earlier on in this video. So you could add in they, you could have it with a capital, you could have it, have it with the lowercase letter. Nice is just a tricky word. You just have to learn it. It came up. You could, says is a word that has been appearing in the reading books and it's one that we haven't done yet. So you, it's a new word. So if they know, just put it in there and see how fast can they do it.